Dark times have fallen upon Rome. Despite the best efforts of the Hungarian and Polish armies, the Ottoman Turks have swallowed most of the Latin Empire. Now, we stand naked against their armies, as even our vassal, Athens, threatens to crush our sovereignty. Woe to the glory of our once great empire! Many years of an incompetent royal family and an army who have refused to adapt have seen our Anatolia and now Macedon stolen from us. Plagues have destroyed the population of Constantinople, the city of world's desire. Even now, our current ruler fails to administrate our people effectively. We are Greeks, pretending to be Romans, in a world which no longer cares for either. But all is not lost. From beneath the ashes there is some glimmer of hope that remains for Eastern Rome. The will of the people is unmistakable. Our resolve will be tested in the coming days. How can we hope to defeat the Ottoman Turks, whose forces outnumber us more than four to one? We must be more cunning than Marcus Aurelius, and more bold than Julius Caesar. For so many centuries, our dream has been the restoration of our empire. And all that may still be a dream too far removed from reality, with strategy and skill, we can overcome our current situation and start to rebuild from the ashes of our mighty nation. But regardless of what happens, we will strive for greatness. Greetings fellow conquerors and welcome to the long-awaited Byzantium playthrough. My name is Darkfire Slide, and today we're going to be embarking upon a most noble journey. I'm sure other people have done Byzantium playthroughs before, but I know that some of you have been waiting to see my particular take on it. So, what's the situation, what's our strategy, and how are we going to deal with it? So, obviously we have to worry about the Ottoman Turks. You know, there's a strong possibility that we just die, because the Turks take the mission to take our capital, and then we're just done. Because we couldn't get an alliance with Poland or Hungary or anyone in time. However, once we defeat the Ottomans initially, we can reclaim most of our cores, and... From there, it's mostly an uphill, you know, it's mostly a downhill battle, um, which is advantageous. That being said, you know, we're going to see what we can do. I would very much like to, in this campaign, try to restore the Roman Empire. But, I would be happy with just restoring the Eastern Roman Empire. But, also teaching people how to do this start, and kind of how to start, how to do start, uh, you know, tough starts in the first place. So anyway... Let's, uh, let's discuss our ideas before we actually get to playing. First, we have uh, our starting ideas, Byzantine Traditions. We get Advisor Costs minus 10%, and Tolerance of the True Faith plus 3. So, any Orthodox provinces that we have are going to have minus 3 unrest on top of what they normally have. I think we get like 9 Tolerance of the True Faith or something like that. It's pretty crazy. Um, but we'll, the advisor costs, 10% is pretty pretty good. Any advisor cost reduction is you know generally pretty good. Um, especially depending on how much like you have advisors. Uh, next we get regulations for mercenaries, which reduces mercenary maintenance at minus 25%. We then get repopulation of the countryside, which gives us 10% national manpower and 5% goods produced. That's an interesting idea. It's not particularly great, but it is nice. Uh, we then get uh, Start Administrative Reform, which gives us a uh, National Tax Modifier plus 10%. Pretty nice. Um, delegated Power gives us Stability Cost minus 10%. Arguably the one of the worst ideas in the game. Um, almost as bad as Reduced Inflation Cost, but that's what we got. <laughs> uh, Byzantine Merchant Class gives us Global Trade Power plus 10%. Very good once we actually take over this node. In fact, Trade Ideas might be the first idea group that we take um, if we make it that long. Or his Diplo idea group, anyway. Uh, the new Imperial Army gives us a Discipline plus 5%. Hey, Discipline, not going to complain about that. And uh, Restore the Ecumenical Patriarch, Missionary Strength plus 3%. And um, what this basically does is it means that we don't have to take religious ideas if we don't want to, and if we do, it'll be crazy fast conversion speeds. Uh, and then for finishing Byzantine ideas, we get Yearly Prestige plus 1. A uh, fairly average set of ideas, not particularly impressive, but um, you know, nothing, nothing that really stands out or is unique. Um, though the Tolerance of the True Faith and Missionary Strength are pretty good, um, overall. At any rate, um, without further ado, let's, uh, let's begin our journey in Eastern Rome. We're gonna play on normal mode. Yeah, 
And that's just so I can make recordings for, for the save. I mean, I'm not going to cancel the video just because I lose. Like, I'd rather show you guys. So we start the game making four ducats a month from trade, which is kind of crazy. Um, we are going to rival the Ottomans. I know that seems insane, but... We'll rival Serbia, and I guess we'll rival Venice as well. Unfortunately, Hungary has decided to uh, rival us, which is pretty terrible. Um, now, Poland... This is very fortunate. Poland has uh, rivaled the Ottomans, which means that they're going to be more, you know, susceptible to actually uh, accepting an alliance from us. Alright, let's see. So we get a mission immediately to uh, reclaim Yanya. Which could be cool. Or just improve our prestige. I do like the improved prestige mission. Um, though I think we're going to take reclaim Yanya. Just because, um, you know, it's a Byzantine mission. We have a core on it anyway. Now if we look here at our starting situation. We have a force limit of 11. I believe the Ottomans have like 30,000-ish troops. If I'm not mistaken. Ottoman. Oh, they only have 24,000, though their force limit is 33, so, you know, take that as you will. Uh, we are going to train a group of knights. We're also going to train some uh, medieval infantry. Um, this may seem silly, but the reason that we're doing this is because we really want to stop, you know, the Ottomans from declaring war, like, immediately. Um, which may still be an issue, but, you know. Uh, we will make a general out of our current king, as well as roll one. I think we'll take the 1-2, just because shock is so important at this stage in the game. Um, what other allies could we possibly get? Uh, Austria is unlikely, but possible. So we're going to improve relations with them as well. And I mean, wow, just so many rivals of the Ottomans this game. This this might be a game where the Ottomans might have died like naturally anyway. Um, we have a Diplo Rep Advisor, but he's level 2. Um, I don't want to hire him if we don't have to, because we don't have the money. But we may not have a choice. And that's something you should always look out for um, when you're, you know, playing the game. You know, playing as, as a smaller nation. Is getting that Diplo Rep Advisor so that you can actually, um, you know, get, you know, that Diplo Rep so you can actually get alliances. Um, without further ado, this is a pretty prodigious start overall, I would say. Uh, we're going to kick the game speed up. I don't think there's anyone else out there who would really ally us. I mean, Serbia has rivaled us. Um, even, even Wallachia doesn't really like us enough to want an alliance, so... Sad times. You know you're bad when... <laughs> even Velakia doesn't like you. Um, okay, this is bad. Poland did not... take the uh, personal union with Lithuania. Which means that a separate alliance with Lithuania may be something we look for. Um, but for now we're just going to focus on getting the alliance with... Uh, Austria and uh, Poland. Now, um, it doesn't appear that the Ottomans have taken the mission to kill us yet, so uh, it's pretty encouraging. We're gonna get these. We're gonna get these two infantry together. We're gonna take them all to Constantinople. Now we are losing money. It's unfortunate, but it's the situation that we're in. Um, we are gonna mothball our forts to save some money. And, uh, we'll lower army maintenance to, like, half. Yeah. And this is, like, the tenuous part of the game. Uh, the Ottomans have warned us, which is fine, because the only people we're really gonna go to war with in the first place is, uh, the Ottomans, so... We're still making about a duck a month just because of our insane, um, trade income from this, uh, node. Um, it does look like an alliance with Poland is going to be a possibility. Uh, maybe not so much with Lithuania, but definitely with Poland. Once we get that alliance, it's going to be pretty big for us, I think. Um, Austria... Austria is actually, I think, within the realm of possibility of an alliance. So, we're going to be looking for that as well. Austria, of course, being probably the, the bigger of the two, if I'm being honest. Um, just because they're the... Uh, and Venice has attacked Athens. Great. This sucks. This really sucks. Um, but we have a small fleet, which we will send to go fight the Venetians. Let's see. 
I'll have the trade ships uh, just chill out. Let's see, would the Ottomans give us military access? They would not because they're hostile. And uh, apparently they like the, uh... Yeah, they like the, uh, uh, you know, Venetians too much. Even though they're, you know... Alright, uh, the Venetians are sending in their fleet. Uh, they'll be there on the 30th of May. So we're gonna retreat because their fleet is bigger. Um, let's see, they've got seven galleys... And 11 cogs. Yeah, no, I think we're going to get out of there. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the Athenians have enough of a fleet to, like, matter. And unfortunately, the Ottomans don't want to let us through, so... Uh, and they've also taken the mission to uh, conquer us, which... Uh, may make this situation impossible. Um, what if we... What if we just gave... Alright, let's, uh... Let's get our diplomat back from Lithuania. They seem less interested in an alliance. What if we just give Venice Athens? Nope, they're not interested. Oh boy. This, uh... You know, this may kill us, if we're being 100% honest. I don't really know what else we can do here. Yeah, we may just be dead. And I mean, that's that happens when you're playing. When you're playing, so. Wait, Genoa joined the offensive war. So, so Genoa not only allied Venice while they're at war... But also, okay, that uh, yeah, sure. So it may not have even been the Ottomans that were threatening to kill us in the first place. Uh, it was, might just be the Venetians. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. Let's just suggest an offer. They'll they'll settle for these two provinces, you know, Athens and Achaea. Sure. This is not the end of the campaign. And the reason that this is not the end of the campaign is because we may be about to get an alliance with uh, Austria. Um, at least Poland will be interested. Um, but now we can't ally with Poland because uh, we've lost land to Venice. Um, shit. Okay. Yeah, this is rough. Um, we, Like I said, we may just be dead. The Ottomans might just attack us. No reason for them not to, really. Um, it's just the way it goes. I mean... I'm just waiting. <laughs> See, I think... I really wish that Diplo Advisor wasn't a plus two. That's really shitty, actually, but... Um, okay, let's debase our currency just a little bit. And, uh, we'll take out one loan. Um, so, yeah, let's take out two loans. Um, just so we can afford this guy. And then, we're gonna marry Poland. Which means we get a queen. And 4th of February, ally Poland. Okay. We've got an alliance with the Polish. Um, which is good. We are also, however, now two over our force limit, which is bad. So we're gonna get rid of two troops, unfortunately. Um, because Venice attacked us. Bad things happen to good people. Um, unfortunately, the Austrians may be out of our reach now because of that war. The, I mean, the Venetians may have like severely crippled us here. Um, however, uh, the Hungarians have kind of backed off. Um, so we're gonna stop improving relations with the Polish. We're gonna start improving relations uh, with the Lithuanians. Three ducats a month. Yeah, we gotta fire this guy. Uh, we're gonna cancel this fort because uh, we can't afford to pay for it anymore because we got robbed. Um, I think we're over our naval force limit now, too. Uh, one boat, anyway. Let's uh, cancel this galley. Only get half of it back. You know, cry every time. Um, 
Should help stabilize our economy at least. Um, but yeah, I ooh, this is a rough start. This may end in tragic failure. I'm I'm thinking so. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Austria at max, and he's not really interested yet. So we're just too weak. Uh, we will improve relations with Lithuania for what it's worth, though I don't really see anything good coming out of that either. Uh, this campaign is probably a dud, even though it shouldn't be. Um, but at any rate, uh, this could be the end of the first episode. Uh, kind of sucks that it didn't go well, but uh, we'll continue in the next in the next one. So I'll see you then.